Good evening. It's been an ongoing concern within the Fairfax School Board after a grand jury report alleged bullying and dysfunction within that group. Previous meetings addressing those allegations, among other things, have been heated, and tonight those meetings continue. 23 ABC's Kristen Vartan joins us live in Southeast Bakersfield about what you can expect. Kristen. Keely, yes, if the public wants their voices to be heard tonight, they can have that known at 630. There will be a town hall here at Fairfax School District. Right now, the board is meeting in a closed session regarding the budget that they are discussing at their 530 special board meeting. But tonight, if anyone wants to come and talk and speak and hear what's going on in this school board, they can do so. Now, what's going to be happening at this meeting? We'll give you kind of a recap on what's been going on. So this follows a grand jury report that has called for the Fairfax School District Board of Trustees and specifically one board member to stop bullying during their meetings. The grand jury also reported finding evidence of a hostile work environment. Two investigations both prompted a resolution of censure regarding board president Palmer Moland. The former one failed, but the latter the school board has not acknowledged. And as for tonight, the agenda says the interim superintendent Laura Brown will be moderating the town hall, which the public can take in part either on Zoom or in person. And each speaker will be given no more than five minutes to voice any concerns that they may have. Now, if you do recall during the public comments at the last school board meeting, the public did have some concerns concerning Mullen and did call for his resignation. So there's no telling what's going to happen at tonight's town hall. But like we said, if you want to come and make your voice heard, then you can do that tonight and we'll keep you updated. We also have a Zoom link on our website, turn to 23.com if you can't make it in person. And of course, we'll follow this ongoing tonight at 7 p.m. We'll have an update for you on what's going on. So stay tuned for that. Live in Bakersfield, Kristen Barton, 23 ABC News, connecting you.